Welcome back from your winter break. I hope that you watched lots of sports over Christmas. If not, we're here to catch you up on what happened. In NFL news, the Rams are looking to finish the season on a three-game winning streak and finally have a winning season, but of course, they came up short at Seattle, where the Seahawks are 7-1 and one on the road. The Seahawks will now play at home again versus the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday for the right to reach the Super Bowl against the winner of Denver and New England. This will cap off a year that is expecting to set records for the most coaches getting fired. In the NHL, the annual Winter Classic took place on New Year's Day in Michigan Stadium. The Detroit Red Wings took on the Toronto Maple Leafs in front of a sold-out crowd of 105,491 people. Over break, the Blues had slumps and streaks, but still hold second place in the Central Division with a 31-8-5 record. In college basketball, the year has so far showed that you can't predict the championship at the beginning of the year. Out of the preseason top five, they now rank at 4, 13, 15, 18, and 23rd. The Missouri Tigers basketball team is now 13-2, but unranked. Despite the record, we are fifth in our division thanks to a 70-64 loss to Georgia in our first conference game. SLU is 16-2, and on a 10-game win streak, they are ranked 24th. Many things happened on the college football field over break, including upsets, routes, and shootouts. He's a potent, you don't even know it. Another impressive bowl game was the BCS championship. The last BCS game ever came down to the last second, which is normally great for the Auburn Tigers, but Florida State Seminoles, who were sleeping the entire first quarter, came back from a 21-3 deficit to win by three. Heisman winner Jameis Winston threw a two-yard touchdown to finish off Destiny's Darlings. That bowl season will end up going down as one of the greatest, with four of the top five games ending up as upsets. And with that, we'll see you next time on Double HS. He's a poet and you don't even know it. Hey everybody, this is Edward, and this is the day I talk to you about the new movies coming out this year. Guys, look out for the new I, Frankenstein movie coming out on January 24th, and the new The Legend of Hercules, Lone Survivor, The Adventure, The Curse of Maida's Box, The Banshee Chapter, Her, The Truth About Emmanuel, Cold Comes the Night, Raise, Black Coffee, Divorce Court, Dumbbell, Dumbbells, the Bronx Bowl. Make sure you guys watch these movies at the theaters and give me a good review. Bye! I'm Coral. And I'm Haley. And welcome to Crazy, Crazy Cam. Cam! Yes, and welcome back, Haley. It is great to be back. And this week we're going to talk about the, the best, best and worst of 2013. 2013. Like Miley Cyrus becoming an insane freak. And a good thing is what happened when I met you and you came over and you threatened to eat my cat. Oh yeah, that was awesome. It's so fluffy, I want to stuff it into my pie. And another thing is how worse Justin Bieber is getting. How is being worse even possible at this point? He's Justin Bieber, anything is possible. Good point. Anyway, now we move on to Overexposed 2013. And we will do one every week, and this week is Cops by Anna Kendrick. And that was this week's show. See you next week for part two of Overexposed. Bye! Hi, I'm Maya. We are going to highlight popular clothing styles in the next few episodes of This Week at Hickson. Boots are definitely one of the latest fashion trends. Check out some of these from the halls of Hickson. Next week on Wednesday, Harmony Team will present the 20% projects. The school is invited to view our projects from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the Hickson cafeteria. Hope to see you there. Welcome to Sparkle Time. Yes. This is Connor. And this is Izzy. Welcome to 2014. Have you kept your New Year revolution? Oh my god, I broke mine. Don't you talk to me about that. What was it anyway? To learn how to bleach hair. Oh, how did you mess that up? My mother. Anyway, there is a Green Day tribute concert by American Idiot. Did you watch Downton Abbey? Totes. What happened? It was, no, it's not appropriate for school. I shouldn't really talk, be talking about it. Involved okay, music. So, okay. Yeah. I'm moving to Florida in three weeks. What? No. Do not. No. 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 Yeah, no, I'm going to no. learn how to surf. Sure. I'm taking over for her. Anyways. And 
not with sparkle time. Why do you have to leave? leave? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Welcome one and all to the second volume of our new segment, The Voice of Hickson, the only segment where you can be part of the Hickson Show. After all, it is the Hickson Show, not the I Production Show. This time, our question was relating to winter break. Let's take a look. The coolest thing I did over winter break was go uh, ice skating on New Year's Eve, and I'm pretty glad to be back at school. Right. And um, and what I did over break? What did I do over break? I'm trying to think. Oh, okay. I went sledding with my cousin. You know, it was kind of turnt. And the school is cool or whatever, but I mean, like all that extra work gotta go, gotta think and out, gotta go out. That's no. So yeah, do this. I did probably over a break was stay at home and just do nothing. And I guess I am glad to be back at school to be with my friends. The coolest thing I did over break was I played Xbox 360 all night for I think it was three or four nights in a row. Um, oh, it was awesome. I play Madden and stuff, you know. I hate school, so I do not like being in school. I would rather be at home right now playing Make's Box again for all night long. The coolest thing I did over break was I did a photo shoot for my friend's sister and her photography company. Um, and I am glad to be at school just to see my friends and kind of, like, I kind of missed it and kind of didn't. I enjoyed the sleep.